So first things first, I need to apologize because I made a mistake in my last navigation video. I said that in order for a path to be found across multiple regions, the edges of their nav mesh need to be touching. This isn't true. They actually need to be within 0.25 meters of each other, and that can be changed by setting the edge connection margin. The default edge connection margin can be found under navigation in the project settings. To find it, make sure you turn on advanced settings. Sorry for any headaches that might have caused. Okay, on to covering some more new navigation features. Now we can bake navigation mesh at runtime with code. You do this by calling bake navigation mesh on a region. This function takes a boolean argument that determines whether or not this is done on a separate thread. If it's important that code only runs after the region is finished baking, then you can use the bake finish signal and run that code in a function that's connected to it. Navigation regions now also have cost values. When an agent is finding a path, it searches for the one with the lowest cost. The cost of a path is the total of each region's cost to travel through. The cost of traveling through a region is calculated by multiplying the distance needed in that region by that region's travel cost. Regions also have an enter cost. A region's enter cost is added to the total when an agent passes into this region from another. Lastly, I want to talk about a useful function on the navigation server named map get closest point. A map is a collection of navigation regions and navigation agents that use those regions. This function finds the closest path within one of those regions to a given position, but in order to use it, you need the map's RID. The navigation server automatically creates a map and populates it with all the regions and agents added to the scene by default. The easiest way you can find this map's RID is through the navigation map property on your game's world 3D. You can access the world 3D from anywhere in your project by calling get world 3D. Now I'll move the target location node off of the navigation mesh so it's no longer reachable by the AI. Then I'll use this method that I just described to find the closest point on the map to this node's position and set that to the target location of the AI's navigation agent. I'll just wait a second before setting the target location because the navigation server takes a second to set up the map. And now the AI gets as close as it can to the target location node without leaving the map. Another cool thing is off map navigation agents finding a path to a location on a map will set the closest point on that map to the first point in their path. If there's a topic that you'd like me to cover, let me know with a comment below. Sorry again for that mistake in the last video. Hopefully I got everything right this time. And thanks for watching.